Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here to bring you the new OpenMV H7 camera. Well, this is so much more than just another camera for your project. How, you may ask? Well, you program this camera in high-level Python scripts. That makes it much easier to deal with the complex output of machine vision algorithms along with high-level data structures. But you still maintain complete control over the camera itself as well as all of the I.O. pins. Well, let's take a closer look at the board and see what it's got. The OpenMV H7 camera is driven by an ARM Cortex M7 processor running at 400 megahertz with one megabyte of RAM and two megabytes of flash. All I.O. pins output 3.3 volts and are five volt tolerant. The processor has the following I.O. interfaces. Full speed USB interface to your computer. Your OpenMV cam will appear as a virtual COM port and a USB flash drive when plugged in. Micro SD card socket capable of 100 megabits per second read and write, which allows your OpenMV cam to record video and easily pull machine vision assets off of the micro SD card. A spy bus that can run up to 100 megabits per second, allowing you to easily stream image data off the system to either the LCD shield, Wi Fi shield, or another microcontroller. An I2C bus, CAN bus, and an asynchronous serial bus for interfacing with other microcontrollers and sensors. 12 bit ADC and 12 bit DAC. Interrupts and PWM on all 10 I.O. pins. Three of the I.O. pins are for servo control. There's an RGB LED and two high power 850 nanometer infrared LEDs. A removable camera module system allows the OpenMV Cam H7 to interface with different sensors. Your OpenMV Cam H7 comes with an OV7725 image sensor capable of taking 640x480 8-bit grayscale images or 640x480 16-bit RGB565 images at 60 frames per second when the resolution is above 320x240 and 120 frames per second when it's below. The image sensor comes with a 2.8mm lens on a standard M12 lens mount. If you want to use more specialized lenses with your image sensor, you can easily buy and attach them yourself. And finally, a LiPo battery connector compatible with 3.7 volt LiPo batteries will allow you to run your module untethered. There are so many amazing things you can do with the new OpenMV. Aside from basic video recording and frame capture, you can also do frame differencing for motion detection or tracking. There's also color detection up to 16 different colors simultaneously, although realistically you probably want to keep that down to about four. It can also do marker tracking, face recognition, and eye tracking. Eye tracking! Seriously! It's also capable of reading and decoding data matrix barcodes, linear barcodes, QR codes, and April tags. Uh, if you're not familiar with April tags, this will even generate its own April tags to be read by any reader. And the cool thing about April tags, like these, are it can read simultaneous April tags. It can read them if they are tilted. It can read them if they are skewed. This is perfect for if you're tracking multiple packages or a swarm of robot armies. There's also line detection, circle detection, rectangle detection, and template matching. The OpenMV H7 camera is an incredible tool to add machine vision to your toolbox. Check it out over at sparkfun.com, and if you have any more questions, check out our support forum, too. Have a great day, and happy hacking! There's a lot. You can also do, what was that thing I said before? And template matching. It was good up until there, until I forgot what it could do. <laughs> and the image sensor comes with a... Sorry, my thumb was over the words. <laughs> it's color detection. Wait, I just said color detection. Dang it! Their product page is like this long. And everything is cool. That makes it much... Have in your... Uh, I, have to, I have to say what it is. Take one.